Well, it's been quite some time since I've made an upload over a, over a year, I think, or well, nearly, best, best part of a year anyway. Um, so this is where I am with the Marklin uh, that I last uploaded. Um, I ended up putting this up in the loft for a while. Um, I had a few other projects on the go and I've had a recent spurt of motivation to get it finished. So this is where I'm at. Um, I have painted the baseboard. Uh, it's been completely stripped down and I've sprayed it with um, enamel paint, which I had mixed up. Um, I went to my local paint shop, uh, Colchester Panel and Paints, and had them match to the best of their abilities, which is pretty close to some of the paint that was left on the base. Um, so they match the green for me and they match the red too. Um, so I've thinned them down a little bit and I used a small touch up paint gun. Uh, it's got a small nozzle in there. It's, it's only got a 1.3 nozzle, I think. Um, so it was quite, it, it, it didn't let too much paint out. Um, and that, that did a pretty good job. Um, what I did find, however, is I possibly didn't thin the paint enough, but um, I didn't get a, a very good um, gun finish with it. So what I ended up doing was wet and drying uh, this down flat. As you can see, it's pretty flat now. Uh, wet and dried that. And then once I had done the, the lining and masked off and did all this, I then got some engine lacquer, uh, which is an enamel um, clear coat. So using enamel it should be fine with heat and it will be fine with methylated spirits which I'll be using for um, the fuel so that will be good to go um, I have hand brushed the flywheel this is uh, just the paint finish so it's, it's naturally a gloss finish or just it's I think it's about 90% gloss 85% gloss so it's got just a slight um, satin to it um, but the flywheel is, is, is there, over there. Um, I have painted the engine cowling. I've got a um, blast cabinet, which I put this in uh, with sort of a couple of other bits to take the paint off. I took, put this in the blast cabinet. This was in the blast cabinet. And this I haven't painted it yet, but this was in the blast cabinet too. Uh, so that has been painted with um, gloss black engine enamel so again that should be fine with the heat that's going through it so there we can see that there starting to come together um, I have been working recently with uh, this over the last week um, I had an extreme amount of play in the bearings uh, I believe there must have been bronze that were in here, uh, but there was just so much waggle and slack. Um, I had to do something. So what I thought would be a good idea was I got some ball race bearings. Um, these are five by eight by four, I think. Um, but they're the right size, nice and tight. What I didn't um, account for is the sloppiness of um, the actual steel on this is how much it moves. So I, I, I didn't really think about that, to be honest. So what I've, I have found is if I don't get these perfectly parallel with each other, uh, it does bind. I'm gonna show you there. Oh, and I had to make some new bearing cups as well because the bronze ones were knackered. So uh, let's, there we go. I get it right. There we go. If I pinch it just right, it rolls. If I let it out, it doesn't. So my solution is just use one bearing. So basically I've drilled my bearing cups out to 5.1. So there's 0.1 of a millimeter play in this side. Um, and there'll be nothing in this side. And then it gives me, I can sort of 
once this is bolted down, get it more comfortable and it will roll better. Um, I'll probably put the bearing this side where the piston is anyway, um, so as it's pushing and pulling, uh, it won't be pushing and pulling on the slack side, the bearing will be over here. Um, but there's, you know, there'll be room for some oil to get around the shaft. So much better that runs. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, so the next job for me is to uh, strip the, the, all the grease and the oil off of there and uh, give it a good coat of enamel. There's the two bearings. So that's fine. I shall use them for a, another project. I bought four bearings because you never can have enough bearings, can you? So that will go on there. Um, what else have I been up to since the last video? I think I did a video on all of my um, nickel plating. So a lot of my bits that have been nickel plated, uh, bits like that. The windows, uh, I nickel plated them. I can now put them back in there, ready to be mounted again. Um, this has all been cleaned. I re, um, re nickel plated the, the glass sight holder. I also got my little box of bits. Uh, here we go. This is all pretty good condition. Um, I didn't really touch this to be honest. That's all ready to go. I just got to make a weight for that. Um, I just cleaned this up with a piece of um, double O. Um, wire wall, just a gent gentle clean around there and it just got a lot of scuff marks off and then just with um, some black enamel paint I've got, I just brushed that on there, brushed the rivets just for a little bit of detail. Uh, I think that's all I've got to show you. Um, my boiler is in my workshop. I've been having to make some new, um, new threaded fit inserts. Uh, for fitting these in it didn't come with all of them and also it didn't come with a pressure gauge so I bought a pressure gauge from where did I buy it from was it John Green steam parts or something like that um, I got, got it from there I've got some other bits and bobs from them in the past and they've got some really nice stuff on their website um, so I bought a little a little um, half inch diameter I'm sure it's half inch half inch diameter three quarter inch maybe um, pressure gauge but it doesn't have the same thread as anything on here so I'm, I'm having to make an adapter for that to fit the boiler um, I pressure tested the boiler and it's letting air out of the other end that I didn't uh, solder so I've got to desolder the other end cap take that off give it a good clean and resolder the end cap on um, but other than that, we are getting much closer to seeing something that resembles a Marklin again, which is very exciting. So yes, very pleased to see some paint on this thing. Uh, it's a nice little size, so it'll probably be a couple of months before I manage to get it back together and have something else to show you guys. But there we go, there's my progress so far.